guys welcome back to the channel I'm warning you right now it's gonna be a long video but I'm showing the finished product at the beginning so you guys can see what two straight days of hard work looks like this is the finished slab excessively fat footings we got 60 plus yards of concrete on the slab and we uh, ran this in the entire day and into the night last night getting it finished off and then again more in the morning to make sure um, we had a really nice 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 smooth finish got the broom texture out here on the patios and it's all ready to go they were working around the clock we had almost uh, two hour delays on the uh, concrete trucks for the first three trucks so it really set the crew back a good bit so that kind of sucked but nevertheless it's done and i'm pretty happy about it we got control joints are all cut in everywhere for expansion and contraction i'm gonna get a sprinkler running on it here tonight you can see just how fat it is it's uh the concrete guys are complaining because my plans called for 24 inch by 30 inch footings and when you actually got a tape measure down in the ditches uh the majority of the lion's share of them were 36 inches to 38 inches wide by about 32 to 36 inches deep so much deeper than than i had uh, anticipated and measured um so that's what the mud that <laughs> the concrete that we had to put in was uh a little uh a little over by about 20 yards um that went just into the footing so that kind of sucked but i guess the bright side of it is, is that it's just super strong which is good nice and chunky and thick everywhere here's the rise for the new pantry area and they were supposed to only cap the slab four inches and that's about five and an eighth and my slab is about six and a quarter thick all the way across which accounted for another uh extra load of concrete so it's just you know this is what it is i guess it's not everything's got to be perfect all the time so i'm pretty happy with it though i guess you can't complain about a stronger foundation so everything looks really good it's just real dusty and you know from when they cut the control joints everywhere today it was nice and shiny earlier i got drone footage i'm gonna pipe in here or might have been piping in while i'm talking already and i got a lot of clips coming in at the end of the video just to kind of show you these guys working hard out here getting this thing going they fought the pump more times than i care to admit <laughs> the pump kept breaking on them because of the delays in the in the uh concrete truck delivery so that was that was fun having to deal with that you know but i put it all in there because when all this is finished i like to look back at it and go oh man i remember that i remember that so these are the recesses for the uh, sliding glass doors in case you're wondering there's the 12 footer and then the six footer is over here coming in off the dining room right there so yeah it's funny how they say a house grows as it goes together so this is like the smallest it's going to feel with the slab on and then as the walls go up it gets bigger and bigger and bigger so anyways guys all right well i'm going to pipe in my footage now because i already know this video is going to be longer than it should be so enjoy it remember to subscribe comment and i'll get you on the next one hopefully concrete block walls soon we'll see